And there you have 15 balls shot lengthwise on a four and a half by nine diamond with fairly tight pockets. Um, the reason I'm able to do this and I continue to explain this is because aiming occurs with the edges of the cue ball and the object ball has objective aim points from which to aim at. So I'm just going to pull the curtain back here. This is three videos that I've redone today. So the pockets are pretty deep. So I made seven in this pocket. So that leaves eight. That leaves eight for this pocket. So I'm not using contact points or ghost balls or uh, fractions. Uh, see, center to edge aiming is very, very friendly to pocketing balls. Uh, th this is something that you can learn as far as the visuals and the visual sweeps that I use, but it requires work. It requires a good stroke. It requires a lot of time. You know, there's no shortcuts, but when you're working from objectivity, the learning curve is much easier to deal with. So I hope that you'll find an interest to work with CTE or uh, continue your studies with CTE. With centered edge aiming, once, once you get squared away with the system, then it becomes easier day by day, week by week, month after month, because you're constantly doing the same thing. For the 15 balls that I shot on the table, every one of them had a center to edge perception, and the cue ball edge aimed at one of the quarters on the object ball. So essentially I was playing with two perceptions for all shots and I had two physical moves to center cue ball that always equal a half tip pivot in manual pivoting. 